Well, everybody, today we're going to break away from the Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg stuff, and we're going to do a little video on what to expect here in the future of our channel. So let's go do this. Let's do it. Okay, so the footage is going to be a little shaky in this video because some of the salesmen, uh, they weren't liking the gimbal all that much. We stopped off at a place and they saw that and they're like, uh, absolutely no. <laughs> so uh, when we went to another dealer, we decided not to take the gimbal in so we can take you guys along with us because the gimbal just throws off negativity. <laughs> it's crazy because you can walk around all day long with a cell phone and tape everything. But as soon as you have like a gimbal or a microphone or whatever, then people start freaking out. Well, we're at RV World and we're checking out really the future of this channel. So we're planning to do some traveling um, across the United States. And we're looking for like an RV or can't, I don't know, we, we haven't decided. But okay, let's go check this out. In a big old RV, huh? Yes. Yeah, this one here is definitely not what we're looking for. It's too big. It's nice. We got the locks and stuff. This one here has got bunk beds. Big old uh, queen size bed. Bathroom. It's a good size bathroom. This is definitely not what we're looking for. Um, it'd be nice. It's like a house on wheels. But the price tag of like $80,000 is definitely not. But it was cool to come in here and check this out anyways. Okay, so today we have the, the black dog. That's Coco. She's actually a chihuahua. Hi, Coco. Okay, so this one here is a travel trailer. Twenty-four thousand. Wow. It's got a little bit of a, a kitchen, a little dinette, and a couch over here. Of course, with your refrigerator. I do like how they took the carpeting out of these. So much cleaner. Got a bathroom here. Ta da! The bathroom and then actually a pretty decent sized shower here. This one here is a vintage. It's got that uh, 50s style look to it. Oh wow! This thing definitely looks like 1950s, doesn't it? It's got a couch right here. It's got a dinette. It's really cool. There's Dawn and the Coco Bear. Ah, Coco Bear. You got a ki kitchen sink, an oven. Ooh, I like those uh, hardwood floors. Of course, you have your you know your microwave. It's really cool. I like how the uh, refrigerator has got that 50s look to it. And this actually got a pretty pretty nice size bed here. Looks a little bit like a full maybe. It's got a bathroom here. Okay, your toilet and. No, pretty nice shot size shower too. So what do you think about this one here? I like this one. This is cute. Yeah. Coco, what do you think about this? Coco. Coco. What do you think about this trailer? Huh? She's more interested in what's going on outside. 
Okay, so this one here is $24,000 too. This one here would probably be the biggest that we would go. It's a 24 footer. This one here's got a slide. This here's a little teardrop. It's got four by four tires for the Jeep. <laughs> Now this is what we're thinking about here. A little teardrop. And pull it behind the Jeep. Everything. We've got a nice little uh, two burner with a hand sink. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is what we're thinking about towing behind the Jeep on our adventure out west. So it'd be like, uh, you know, home away from home, right? Yeah. What do you think about it? There's we no. Probably do it. There's no bathroom, no shower. <laughs> we're just thinking about things. This is one of our ideas. Okay, so this is the inside of one of these teardrops. You got a big old uh, TV and everything you can imagine. And these turn into your bed at night. Looks like it's got storage in the floors. And there's the door. And it's got a nice little seating area up here in front. Yeah. They got these little escapes here. Small enough to pull out the Jeep. Here's a tiny little camper. Kind of like your modern day teardrop. You can actually stand up in them. But this turns into a bed here. And then you have your, your kitchen area and no bathroom, right? No bathroom. <laughs> Here is like a little uh, Airstream, kind of like the old Bambies. Let's go check this one out. Yeah, so this is the inside of that um, Airstream, like a little tiny Bambi. It's got a nice little cooktop. It's got a refrigerator. And here's the bed. Looks like it's... Uh, Maybe uh, a full-size bed, maybe a little smaller. And then it's got a little TV swing out there. And this one here actually has a, a bathroom. Okay, so it's got a, a shower. It's a and, wet bath. Um, yeah, it's a wet bath. Huh. There's quite a bit in this one. So what do you kind of think about this uh, Airstream? I like it. Yeah, this one here is pretty cool. It's got a bathroom, everything. It's pretty cool, actually. I bet you the price tag is pretty hefty on it, too, don't you think? Probably. Yeah. Here's another Airstream here. It's got a kitchen right up front. It looks futuristic. And in here must be the bathroom. Yeah, it's got its wet bath. This one here has got a real dining slash bed slash everything. It's got that aluminum like siding. What do you think about that kitchen? Um, could probably make some gourmet meals in there, right? Yeah. Something with that, I'm sure. <laughs> Look at the um, cupboards. Ouch! Oh, it's got a sliver. You got hurt? Yeah. <laughs> Here's another 
Airstream. This one here has got like a, a little, I don't know, it turns out to a bed though, that's for sure. <laughs> Kitchen sink. What did you find? A wet bath. A wet bath in there? Yeah. What's this one then? This one's called the uh, Airstream Nest. That You're going to be nested in this. There's a refrigerator. Then you got your um, microwave. So we're not 100% sure either if RVs are the way to go. And we do know from experience that RVs can be very costly and uh, they can be big money pits and it can be expensive on the road just to operate them. That's the reason why we're looking at like teardrops and other stuff. We're also looking at vans and other stuff like that too, you know, smaller vans. Um, pretty much we're looking for like a bed on wheels, you know what I mean? Nothing fancy. Um, of course, you know, they can get expensive. Some of them RVs today we're looking at is $120,000, $130,000 for the big ones. And some of them um, teardrops can be upwards of twenty grand. But then there's also some teardrops too that are, you know, in the $8,000 range. And then we also have the option of used. So there's a lot to think. Pretty much what we're reason why we're thinking of an RV is pretty much it's a home base. You know, if we go to like, say, you know, Florida, um, for like a night or two, you know, just go do some filming. We'd have that option of just staying in the um, RV. Or if we're going out west, um, we might have a, you know, a night or two in, let's say, the teardrop. And then the third night, maybe we'll do at a hotel or something. What else do you think, Don? I like the bigger RVs because you can walk around in them. And I like the vans. You can walk around them if you do it right. Yeah. I also like the teardrops, but then you got to pull it. Yeah. So we're trying to figure out what way to go with this. And yeah. it doesn't hurt the luck, and we're starting the luck. So. Yeah, we're just at the beginning. So, um, Anyways, if you guys like these vlogs, give it, a thumbs give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe so you don't miss any more of them upcoming adventures. And pretty soon we're going to have adventures everywhere, hopefully. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye.